Well, I am joined now by our sports reporter, Adam Reid. Now, Adam, I want to start by asking about Almaty and the fact that they they don't really have, uh, they did have the natural conditions in comparison to Beijing, who have been the winners. So will they feel hard done by? Well, the short answer, in their opinion, Lindsay, is yes. Uh, they very much went on the front foot before the announcement, clearly stating that they were the ones with the real snow, they were the ones with the purpose-built built venues all within uh, close proximity to the city and yet they've they've lost out um, Beijing by contrast they've already gone on record and saying they're gonna have to bring in um, artificial snow and their mountains are actually far away from the city so the games will actually take place uh, in the city and also in the city of Zhangjiakou which is actually 118 miles northwest of uh, Beijing so they for the snow events that will be mm. so they really are splitting it up uh, but Beijing will be the hub of this game of these games and I mean, they've they've already, as you said, uh, hosted uh, the Summer Olympic Games in, in 2008. So they're going to feel like that it's a real victory for them. But Almaty, they put together a really good bid. They all had these these great purpose built venues, but um, unfortunately, it wasn't to be. How significant do you think it is that Beijing have won this so soon after those Summer Olympics? Well, they are now the first city to um, hold the both summer and winter games, meaning that uh, it's a, a real great achievement that, that no one else has uh, ever done, considering the history of, of both those um, big events. Um, the, the interesting thing is that Beijing and Almaty were actually considered outsiders when the 2022 bid uh, race opened uh, uh, two years ago, but um, a host of European cities pulled out because of financial reasons. Now, China's... Um, human rights um, um, record has been called into question amongst this and already the human rights um, activists uh, uh, who were campaigning against these games have called it a big slap in the face for people um, campaigning against China's human rights record but Lizzie Yarnall, the British um, uh, skeleton Olympic champion, hopes that they will uh, look at these things and actually the IOC will, will make sure that China um, is doing the right things.